got two chances in it. Right, a lot. day it's like flying in the UK <laughs> oh, a bit of rain on the face there you look forward for a bit. If you look out front for a bit. foot above the hill so uh this should be fun we'll see uh see if we even make it over the plateau look at this look at that for a ride it's not very confidence inspiring that is it At least we'll get out of the start to do that. So I'll, uh, I'll turn it back on when it looks actually something worth recording. Well, it's still not really anything worth filming, but I've gone over the back.
with Philippe now. He's on an ENT. Just over there. Just to see if we can get up on it. See you soon. Looks like we're getting up here. I'm in with Philippe and Luke. Both on flow gliders. Probably the best climb of the day, this. Still a bit broken, but it's going up, which is nice. downwind of us. Bit of sun on the ground so we're heading towards it. See you when we get there. Well here we are. 23 k's to the first turn point. 41 k's from goal. 870 meters off the deck. I feel like I've just been going around in circles now for an hour and a half. But I'm just staying in the sky. I'm pretty far across track. A bit far left of course, but just been following the high ground and following other gliders. Looking a bit dark in the distance, so I'm uh, Careful not to get any really strong climbs. Not that there are any, but in case I do get to some, I don't want to be getting near cloud pace really, so. Biggest concern. I don't want to get close to the clouds because with 100% cloud cover, you don't know which ones are the bad ones. So I'm uh, I'm gonna push on low and not worry about landing really. It's a little bit past my comfort level flying in uh, stormy conditions like this. Probably going to see it for a landing is the next thing. This is a pleasant surprise. I'm climbing. Over a stubble fire, I think it is. Because I can smell it, but I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, 
experienced pilots, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Oh yeah, we're still going up, 37k to go. Nice and smooth this one. One, 200 up. So we'll, uh, much has changed really. Still going around, around, around. Yeah, blowing down wind. There's some nasty storms around. Look at that. Gaggle of gliders ahead of me there. Hopefully they'll mark the next climb. Oh, I love it. It's longer. It's 150 feet per minute. Yeah, look at that store. Don't get too close to that. Another one over there. So, uh, keeping a good eye on this. Give myself some height to cross over to Mohammed and get the first turn point, which is 20 k's away. Let's see how we go. Well, that climb took me up a little way. Probably made a thousand feet in that one. It's quite slow all the way around. Flying to Mount Mohammed now. Looks like the storm is passing one to the east and one to the west, so we're good for the moment. We'll, uh, keep on trucking to the turn point, 16 k's to go. Be nice to get a climb soon. Pretty shady landing area this. I've got uh, some gliders in front of me. Here of trying to find it. Average. We're going up. At least we're going up. The bird climbing just downwind of me. I don't know whether I should go for it. I think I'm going to go for it. Fingers crossed this works. And I'm just on the upwind side of it. Because if not, I'm going to be landing. Come on. Come 
Come on, birds. You know you want to show me where the climb is. I didn't want to be landing, but here we go. That's unfortunate. Here we go. Field in the middle of nowhere. So I was with Philippe. He got some climbs here and he cranked it up and I thought he was going good, but I just was always in the little stuff at the bottom and I couldn't really put it together. Probably my handling skills of a paraglider aren't quite there yet, but yeah pretty good for a, a day that was um, pretty clouded over. Getting out of takeoff area is pretty technical. I've basically just done, what, 30k of circles. So, uh, I'm trying to pack away, let me retrieve now. I can still see him asleep. He's just up there, climbing away. Um, I think there's a couple of, all right, a glider or two that I saw heading back from the turn point. So, we were heading from um, from Beachmont, turn point up there, and then back across the valley to here somewhere, and then into Corralbin. So this is kind of a zigzag section, so we should see some gliders around here, but I have a valiant effort for the little ENB keeping up with the, the C's and the D's and the triple C's and stuff. So yeah, happy with that. Time to de-rig, let the retrieve know where I am and get back home. Take a look at this guy. Just checking me out in the landing field. I'm not sure what bird that is. But uh, he was the one that lost me the climb. It was you. He just came flying over my wing at like 50 feet. If that, maybe 20 feet. Checking out what it was I was doing. The storms, it's a perfectly set task really. The storms, one went kind of north of us and off that direction. Another one went west and south of us that direction. And our little course was perfect in this little valley so good to know that they kind of blow over either side yeah time to get de-rigged as much as de-rigging you can do one of these get packed or whatever you would call it and uh, let the retrieve driver know where I am well there we go walk out has started so I'm not very far off the road you can probably just about see in the distance over there I chose to land came in over these trees because there's a river I couldn't see a road that side so pushing I probably could have made another 500 meters or so by landing the other side, but then the retrieve would have been a pain in the uh, you know what and uh, Yeah, walking with a paraglider isn't too bad One thing you can definitely Do with a paraglider that you can't do with a hang glider is kind of push it into those terrains Where the climb's going to be but the landings aren't good for a rigid structure aircraft like a hang glider um, I was pretty low down on the inside of Mount Manhattan over there and there was landings there for a paraglider, but God, I wouldn't have wanted to be there in a hang glider. So yeah, 
it's definitely interesting to fly this comp. I'm still definitely going to be flying hang gliders more than paragliders, but uh, yeah, good experience. Good flight today, two hours of going around around in circles. And uh, see if I can post a track log here, you can see what it looks like. The bus, or the retrieve, is actually included in the competition fees, so there's just a mini bus with a trailer. You send your location in, walk to your nearest road, and you come through and scoop everybody up, which is pretty nice. So I'm uh, walking out now, get to the road and get to the bus. Well, there we go. Made it out to the road. I'm just to wait for the retrieve. <laughs> 